Hi everyone, I hope you're staying safe and healthy in this time of pandemic. I'm Marissa from Walsh University. I'm a student there and today I want to teach you a little bit about Ohio State Wildflower, the large flower Trillium, also known as Trillium grandiflorium. So we're here in Johnson's Wood State Park in Wayne County and we have a huge bed of Trillium here. Trillium left to grow in the understory of mature forests and this is a burned timber forest so it's been around for a long time. So these trilliums have a perfect place for them to grow. So I'm gonna teach you some identification tips. So tri meaning three. So everything on a trillium comes in threes. Right here, as you can see the leaves, we have one, two, three leaves. We have three beautiful white petals. And then right here, this little part, these are, they look like leaves, but they're actually called sepals. And we have one, two, three of them. They support the flower and cover it when it's in bud. So we have one right here that hasn't bloomed yet. And see the outside, those are the sepals. They're protecting the petals until it blooms. And then they support it when it opens. And then this one right next to it doesn't have a bud because it's too young to bud yet. So you can still identify it though because it still has those three leaves. Trilliums can last, can be as old as 30 years. And so in the first couple of years, three or four years uh, after they germinate and their seeds and they grow, they don't put out a blossom. But then after they do put out a blossom, they continue to for, as I said, about 30 years. Towards the end of that 30 years, the blossom will actually develop a pink tinge. I don't have any examples in this bed right here, but in other parts of this, other um, parts of the park, we have found um, a pink tinge on the petals. And so that way you can know that that flower has been a lot older. So that's pretty cool if you think about it. In Ohio, we know it's super, our winters are super hard, but these are super hardy guys. Their roots stay on the ground and can last for that long. So this is, I hope you get out and enjoy these beautiful wildflowers that are blooming right now. And remember, don't pick, just observe and have a safe and wonderful hike.